Hey, what's up you guys? Steve here. Hey, listen, if you're having trouble with your AT&T internet and it's fiber, it's fiber optic, might call u -verse, I got a real short video here. I'm going to tell you about three major components to check that I've had trouble with in the past. All right. First thing is to start with your internet modem. So you probably have something like this somewhere in your house. I have it right here in my family room. And like this is a BGW210. Yours probably looks like this. If it doesn't, maybe some of this applies. See these two green lights? They need to be solid. Now, if they're not solid, that's a tip right away that something's not right. One of the first and the easiest things you can simply do is just turn it around to where the power is and just unplug it. You don't have to do anything special, just unplug it. Wait about 15 seconds, plug it back in. Now, it's possible it might have a battery on it. This model does not. But if you unplug it and the lights don't go out, it means it's got a battery in it. Look for like a compartment somewhere where you could open up and take the battery out. This one doesn't have a battery. But if it does have a battery, you can take that out. Okay, so then I see my lights come back on. So what'll happen is this one will be solid for oh, a minute or so. Then I'll see the second bottom one, green one, will start flashing. Actually, I'll think it'll start red, then it'll start turning green. Ideally, what we want to have is within about a two, three minute period, we want both of these to become solid green again. If they don't, let's move on to the next component. The D mark for your fiber optic service typically is on the outside of the house, but it could be inside the garage or inside a closet inside your home. For AT&T, this is my clue right here. Usually you need some kind of a Phillips screwdriver to get access into the customer facing portion of the, uh, of the box. When you open that up, what you might see is a fiber optic transducer, which is a fancy word for something that converts one medium into another, because remember fiber optic is light, and then what you use inside your home is copper electric ethernet. So if you're having trouble, some things to check for are make sure that you've got some blinky lights going on, which indicates that you've got power and connectivity. Also, you'll want to check to make sure that your power cable is plugged in. That's that little tan cable right there. And then the other thing that happens sometimes, and this happens to me actually frequently because I have a menacing little child. You don't have power. So there is a thing here for power. Now this is what tripped me up. I didn't realize that the power is actually somewhere else inside my house or might be in garage. So we're gonna go look at that next. But basically what this is, this takes the fiber optic signal that comes from AT&T this little tiny cable here that believe me, there's nothing you can do with that. Don't even try to mess with that. Just make sure it's it's attached. If it's broken, that's probably a clue right there. Anyway, it goes in here, gets converted into what they call Ethernet, which is this little Ethernet plug right here. I see flashing lights. And this goes up into my house, goes to that modem we were just looking at a minute ago. So we want to check and make sure that we got lights, our connections are seated properly. And then if we don't see any lights, it probably means that our power supply has become unplugged or went bad. So we're going to go look at that next. Now in the corner of my family room is where the ONT power supply is located. The reason that is is because it's just got to get plugged into a wall outlet. So what this basically is, is it's a power supply box. Yours may or may not look like this, but one wire is going out, out the side of my house, down to where that AT&T box was we showed a minute ago, and it's supplying power to the ONT. But on the inside of my house, it could be your garage, it could be your basement, is the electrical cord which plugs into the wall. Make sure that didn't get unplugged. Or just check and see if you even have lights on here. Now you might have a battery in here. Mine didn't come with a battery, but there's there's a spot where I can put a battery back up in there. But basically, look for lights here. If we don't have lights here, it means our ONT is not getting power. Or maybe something happened to the cable between here and down where the ONT is. Now one thing I forgot to mention, there is an ethernet cord that leaves that ONT. Remember I showed you that little yellow cord? That is basically, go into a cable which comes up the side of my house. They've drilled a hole, comes into the side of my house, and this cable right here goes all the way to the back of the modem where we first started. So if for some reason that became unplugged, you know, if you're like me and you have children at home that like to mess with things, then sometimes that can happen. All right, there's one last thing you can do is you, if you have the AT&T app, you can actually go in and see if your service is active, all right? So if you haven't downloaded the app and registered for an account, I would do that because if you go in there, it will tell you if your service is currently down or not. All right, so check those three components, the modem, the ONT, and the power supply. And then lastly, verify you have service. You can use the app. And then after that, I would call for service. Okay, hope that helped you out, thanks.